Go to the layer menu in Affinity Photo, then go down to New Adjustment Layer, and you can use all of these adjustments. However, if you use them, well, it brings up things, but you have to set all the settings up yourself. But what you can do, you can go straight to Adjustments. You don't need to do it by the layer menu. So Adjustments, and you expand these out, and you've got a whole range of fairly useful ones. You can add your own as well, which is good. It's a pity that Affinity didn't add about 50 of these sort of things. It would be really nice. Let's just go to one, gradient map. So I'm just gonna go here, got this image, click there, and what it does, it adds this gradient map. And you can see gradient map turns up over there. Now if I go over here, click it again, it doesn't add an additional one. In some ways it would be nice if it did, some ways, well, but it does, it just replaces the current setting, and you can run through these. Now, you may have a different set, depending if you've created any in the past. And you can run through and you can see, the thing is, what it does, it stores the information that you create in this panel. So I've got this pan this one, this gradient map here, and you'll notice it's got opacity, 61%. That is the setting for that. It's got this information, which is the gradient, and you can modify that. You can modify all the settings. You don't have to keep it as a preset. The preset doesn't change. You haven't updated the preset by changing this. This is just changing it here. Prefet preset is a default start position. So you can increase it if you want that setting or go the other way. Linear burn, <clears throat> blend modes. So you can go for say color burn instead. You can also click here and change the source light and you can modify that. Now you can change this as well. Though sometimes I've noticed that it doesn't seem to store that information. For some weird reason I've come back to it and it's been left as the default situation. So I'm not certain about that one. Likewise, coverage map. So you can close that and I'm gonna change, maybe add some colors. So let's just go and add something else, maybe white there. And you can add any number of stops along this. This is the great thing, double click on that line, click there, and maybe make that blue, or whatever. And you've got a whole range of different options here, HSL sliders, etc. Just run through them, just tweak things, change things. And if you're happy with something, you think, you know what, that would be brilliant as a preset. You have to just go here, add preset. Click there and it will ask for a name. I'm not very good with names, so it's just gonna go with preset two. Click okay. And you can see it's been added there. And you can of course go and add another one. You can modify this again, tweak this. And again, it doesn't affect the one you just saved. And you can delete them as well. You can just remove them, you've got delete there. And you can go select that one, delete it. Select that one, delete it. And you can see you can create something else that you think, you know what, that's nice, add another preset. And I'm just, it looks like quite icicle sort of thing, so click OK. But of course it does really depend on the image itself. Sometimes it suggests one thing. If you've got a different photo there, you might think differently. And again, lighten there. You might think, oh, that one's nice. Add preset. Chili. So I'm just gonna go with that. And you can see you can add loads. Now I don't know if there's a limit, there may be a limit, but all this information is stored. I say, not so certain about that, some of the other settings, not so certain, but certainly a fair amount is saved. And you can close it, close that, and you've got your thing. And again, you think, you know what, I wanna go back to it. Click there, and it comes back. Now if you wanna change things, you can go just there, right click, rename it. You might think, you know what, that isn't chilly, that one isn't there, I can right click that one, rename. I can also delete it as well. So you just, just right click and delete. Now you can move them around, so you can just position it again somewhere else. If you think, you know what, I want all of the orange one looking ones there, you can put them all together. So you can just move them around. I don't think there's any other grouping method that you can use. And you can move say the green one down there, garish green, and so on. So you can move them around but you've got a range of different options here with these adjustments. And again, just bring it up there. However, deselect. So just go over here to the layers panel and deselect that one. So that one is not selected now. Key thing, not selected. Then just go over here to say chili. Click there and you can see what happens. It adds this one. Of course, now it doesn't look so chilly because of the combination of effects. That's the thing, you call it one thing it doesn't always match the next time around when you use it. 
And you can see, again, just deselect it and then go for another one. So click there and you've got that one. Now some really do sort of live up to their name. So, so you've got that and you can add three or four and you can, as long as it's selected, you can always click on there and change it. But it needs to be selected. And that's really presets, running through presets, how to use them. I think they're really super quick, really easy. Unfortunately, you can't do any expand the display so it make it slightly bigger. All those sort of things would be really nice as well. And a few other features I think would be kind of cool. Maybe a sort of selection of your favorite presets at the top would be really nice as well. But you got what you got. Adjustment panel, worth checking out. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.